Hey everybody, we're back. Uh, uh, four months? Is it four months? I think so. We did okay, it so it's been another recording session, and so yeah. we need to explain why the gap exists this time. Uh, uh, you went to Australia for a long I ass did. time. Australia is 16, where you were was 16 hours ahead of me, and uh, Australian internet is notoriously shit. It's awful, and I can't escape now. Right now, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in rocket mode. What? There you're, we go. You're Sorry, stu I'm stuck. Okay, so what you need to understand, everybody, you already know we've got a janky ass save file because we started this playthrough yeah. before the first expansion cool. is out. The third expansion is out now, uh, and we had to roll back our save to an older version to get this to load or roll back our, our game because it has updated so much it refuses to even let us attempt to port our save file over. So this it is crashes. 1.4.2, even though the newest version is 1.5. Um, so, yeah, like, there's still this, like, chunk of Cambodia that is unoccupied. Yeah, it's Cambodia. Oh, still there? It's yeah, still yeah, there. because it was only like that on the original version of the game, where Cambodia uh, yeah. is not occupied, and I don't think anyone's allowed to actually walk into it. Yeah. It's so weird. So we have, like, this janky half-ported over, half-not map. We have, like, old game mechanics in it. Like, we have National yes. Unity. Isn't that not in the game now? It's not. It doesn't exist. It's replaced by stability and war support. Which is good, because and... National Unity was kind of stupid in the first place. It was dumb. It was Yeah. Dumb. So... Uh, I just remembered, we were going to attack Germany. We're going to do this. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Every episode, we're like, we're going to attack Germany. Well, you say we're going to attack Germany. I'm like, I don't know if we can win that. And we're like, but I'm we're going to attack Germany. And I'm like, I don't know. Every... I'm recruiting... 40 divisions. I, I do, do I even have manpower left? I have enough manpower left that it's like, ooh, I probably shouldn't be I got recruiting. 400 k I do have 10 divisions that are just about to pop really soon. Um, right, so to remind everybody of exactly where we are in the game, because my god, does everybody, including us, need a refresher? Uh, yeah, we still have this it. we still have the whole South African conflict, not the 2018 one. Uh, oh god, there's another conflict. Oh, there's a war. Do you, you can probably kill them now. They have, like, no organization. That's that's the thing, though. They have no organization because they're fucking morons, and they're, like, <laughs> wickedly overpopulating the area for the supply they have. But every time I've ever tried to attack, they won. So I'm just holding the line now. By all means, let them waste all their troops there. Let them build up their troops there and sit there and starve them to death. Yay. They can have fun with that as much. I don't want South Africa. What do I care? I'm just gonna. I'm. I. I discovered that I have a super heavy tank uh, battalion in my infantry division. Yes, because that shit's hilarious. It's Good hilarious. Job. We need the to. Is, it's not gonna be enough. They're still gonna mess me up. Wait, I, my hardness is like point one. Wait, what is my heart? My heart attack seventy nine. What's my hardness? <laughs> What's my hardness? Oh, right! I forgot, this I was back- This was before- Back when they had the stupid way of doing, um, production as well. Where you're- Oh, where, yeah, I missed <laughs> it. I did not miss it If you maxed out, like, you had all the factories and you just need to make another production line of it, and it quickly got out of control and disorganized yeah. and awful. Now really you can just hit the, that. like, times five and times ten buttons, which is way better. God damn it. I- I'm- Oh, here's what's happening, here's what's happening. This is the plan. I, I'm- I'm the boss, I'm an executive, I'm- yeah. Uh, yeah, my keyboard doesn't work. My keyboard doesn't work for some Oh things. no! Uh, okay, I don't. I don't leave my arrows. In okay, my, uh, my hold keyboard. on. Tab out of the game and tab it's back in. I've seen that fix it, it before. I have, I have it on thingy, um, windowless border, borderless mode or whatever. It's okay. Oh no, it's working now. Oh, you fixed it. Good job. Okay. I did yeah. it. It was all me. All you. All right. Here's what's gonna happen. Okay, I'm recruiting forty divisions with stupid tank battalions in them. Okay. Smart when they, tank divisions. When those divisions are ready, okay, what's going to happen is they're going to go on all of the German borders on your side as well, and we're going to justify and declare war. On the east, because the Germans have about 100 divisions or so in Russia, I've made a defensive line, Mos or Moscow and utilizing the rivers, so I'm just going to hold there as hard as I can, and then I'm going to use about, I don't know, like, 80 or no, about 130 divisions and push into Germany. And we're going to rush it and we're going to win. And that's what's going to happen. All right. Are so it's it, going to be about a year. To make sure we're on the same page here. We, when it comes to attacking Germany, we only give a fuck about actual West, like European Germany here, right? Like that's, that's the only correct, thing. Yeah. That's the only place we're going to find any cities of value. Yeah. In terms of just deleting their, um, their victory points. However, a large portion of their divisions are in the East. 
but they also have a lot of divisions in the west. So one thing to do, we're going to be attacking from the west, but also my army, we might have a very fast army with good tanks, and they're going to be attacking from the east. That should divert forces from the west to the east, allowing us yeah. to make it an easier go of it. And if we, happen, if we lose, if we lose land in the east, who gives a shit? Like it's just I'm a bunch of waste. It's like a yeah. bunch of borderline Siberia wasteland in the east. So Except if, for Moscow, if though. Moscow is a lot. Yeah, Moscow's worth it, of course, but that's like pretty far west still. Like I'm looking yeah. at like you know, east, like far east, like Georgia east, like north of Georgia there. Um, there's oh, the a lot of land, very, like, nothing. if they can waste their time with their divisions conquering some of that, because who gives a fuck if we lose that? Problem is, uh, Krasnador has actually got about 10 mil mil factories. I'm just mm. gonna use the river, though, the river that goes all the way through here and defend myself of that. Yeah, yeah, all just right. drop, like, a fallback line on that. That's what I've done, man, take a look. Oh, oh right, I forgot there's oh, a button, right, there's a button for that. Yeah, 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 yeah I see it yeah. now. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's looking like a pretty clean line, like, you don't have any, yeah. um, yeah, it looks like you don't have any planes in, in the area that we're giving up anyway, so. I don't have play. Right, I forgot, because we have such wacky countries. I'm the plane guy. Isn't it, I'm are. planes and boats, and you're all the land yeah. shit? Actually, I have actually researched planes. So that's actually pretty good. Oh, right. I think I just need to build them. And uh, so. I have uh, I have 17 mounted, or mountaineers uh, near Switzerland, but not on the border, because I don't want them to, like, start defending the border yet. I have them nearby. They're gonna train for just, like, a little bit, because they're very close to going from recruit to, like, regular. Um, and then I, then when the war starts, they can take care of Switzerland, because it's all mountains, uh, and I have them just off of the border, because, you know, if I frontline them, then they'll realize something's up there. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start moving my equipment around a little bit and try and get a bit better stuff. Why do I have so much mechanized? Oh, right, don't forget, this um, a good idea. don't forget we've got Brazil and we do have a front with the Netherlands in Venezuela. Oh, God. God, this game Tell is fucking weird. Um, do I need planes here anymore? I need planes everywhere. I'm just looking at Brazil, uh, where I've got a bunch of planes in Brazil, and I think I want to divert some of those to the European conflict. Yeah, man. Um, I'm going to start building lots. I was building strat bombers, wasn't I? But now, nah, screw strat bombers. We're just going to rush Germany and win. Yeah, and That's don't forget, do. we got rockets now. We have 59 rockets on the yeah, German border. Oh, jet fighters. Let's go. All right, I'm starting to build more fighters. I say, on pause, let's do this. Um, oh, right. And I am a sliver away from getting a Macedonian nuclear reactor done. Oh. Uh, Oh, yeah, nuke. Because we we were now it'll be a long ass time before I get a nuke. Because like this, it's it's just the first. And I am building. Why am I building all of these? Why do I have like super high level forts being built? You probably told me to build these. Where where, where are they being telling? built? Uh, Sp Spain, the Spanish border. The Spanish border. That was. It. I was looking yes, around and hovering do. over them. Yeah, the Spanish border. We have like ten level forts going all along the Spanish border. All right, cool. Yeah, the, we can't fight until those forts are there. Yeah, yeah, because I remember as Spain joined the Axis, and they're actually pretty strong, yeah, and we don't, suck. like, if we were to lose France while that's happening, that could be pretty nasty. I also kind of forgot something. What about Japan? Um, do we yeah. share a border with Japan? We share we a do. tiny border with them, yeah. Yep, and the Yunnan Free Empire. So, I'm gonna yeah. need troops to hold that line. Crap. Okay, um... I'll recruit some divisions. I forgot I have one random unassigned guy sitting in just the middle of Kuwait because the <laughs> allies just keep wanting to drop dudes there. Alright, I'm ready. I think I've built up my stuff. I've got super heavy tanks in production. I'll move divisions ready to attack into this little... to defend the Japanese border. That should be everyone else who's Axis. Actually, let's just check the... Let's check the factions. Choose it. Oh, man, so many people are in the Axis. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. We're good. We're good. I'm gonna lose- you're gonna lose all that Greek territory, Siberia, to the east, but who cares? Oh, no. My Siberia. Shit, no. I might lose a whole factory. No. You actually have, like, literally one factory as well. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Who gives right. a shit about that? They can waste their time eating up their supply and starving their people up there. Um, <laughs> I do still have, like, a really good, uh like, air warfare going on over London. Like, I'm doing, like, bombing runs on Len London and stuff. Um, nice. And how's my navy? Uh, ex it does it? exist, right. I, I do actually have decent naval presence. Uh, 28 ships. Yeah. 
I have more ships than you. Come on. Well, I it's doing surprisingly well. Um, I want to you know search and destroy and stop doing uh, this. Oh yeah, I'm building light cruisers because this is still a patch where light cruisers are good. I forgot. <laughs> I like how every sentence has to start with, "Oh right, this was back when." Back in the day. Back in the day before this was unreasonably shit. <laughs> Oh God! All right, I'm prepared and ready, my friend. Whenever you yes, are. Yes, uh, I, I have. have to wait for like a year. So there, I, I have unpaused. Anything. I'm sorry. I, have to, I can't do anything until I get those forty divisions. Why? Uh, are... You have. You need to be training infantry as well. Do, do you? Can you? I am. Yes, I have ten okay. divisions about to pop. Ten, ten, I'm training forty-five. You gotta understand, uh, Greek manpower is not what it once was. I'm oh, sorry. you're not. Oh, you're. I'm. I'm still. Uh, I'm still on all adult serve. I'm not scraping the barrel yet. Uh, I believe I'll, I'm scraping the barrel. Yep. I'll, I'll wait to go scraping the barrel when I'm when the war starts because I'm just gonna try and use all my population, uh, just building divisions. But I'm gonna go up to 75 divisions training right now. Let's go. Let's go. Why are these guys? Divisions. Why are these guys uh, starving here? Is there really not much? But there's... Why would there not be much uh, supply there? Oh, no, there's tons of supply there. Why were they taking attrition damage? 17 Ooh, units in a 70 supply area. These mountaineers that I just have waiting around. Uh, you're training them. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. Of course. <laughs> I didn't even need to look, and I knew. <laughs> yeah, okay, I and I there we go. I just stopped training them now. I've I've been, I've been, like, looking up the meta. I'm involved in the Hearts of Iron community now. Yeah? Man, I'm a part of the community. Can you believe that? I, I can believe that, because that's how I found you originally, was Hearts of Iron, your uh, Mexico playthrough. Oh, that's true, that's right. Yeah, that's yeah. True. Again, I we've had people go back and comment on that video, seeing my first ever comment to you, and they're like, oh my god, it's how they met. And I'm oh, like, wow, yeah. they're they're freaking out as if we're important or something. What yeah, the fuck? Right. <laughs> like, I'm playing with other Hearts of Iron people as well, and I'm known in the community. Yeah, I'm not, because I'm that weird specter who's in like 500 communities, but not well-known enough to be well-known. <laughs> like, I'm just kind of, I'm a guy who people know the name of, and then... That's it. Okay, I'm doing a shitload of excavation research right now because my god, are my resources a problem? I thought you meant in real life. I was like, what are you excavating? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I'm excavating IRL. I've excavated uh, this Let's Play. That's how it's come back from the grave. That's exactly right. Yeah, man. More uh, UK naval speed. warfare. Yeah, let's I'll win that fight. Speed five. Let's go. Uh, I yeah, I don't know if, I, I mean, I'll bump it up a bit, but, uh, the game is chugging. <laughs> I know, isn't it? My internet's good. It must be your fault. Uh, nope. My, my internet is perfectly fine, as is my computer performance. Uh, sure, the thing is, sure. you gotta remember, this game is horrifically organized, or, uh, optimized for when lots of shit is moving. I have this on a solid state drive. Damn, man. Yeah, what's, I got- What's your internet like, though? Uh, 50 megabit up, 50 megabit down. Mine's better. Really? Yeah. What is, what's your down? It's shit, though. Uh, like, 300? Nice. Uh, mine's fiber optic. I know you guys uh, modernized, like, five years ago on the fiber optic. Yeah. Uh, we just got it recently. Um, uh, when I was in my flat in Kingston, I had a gig. I had a gig down. Jesus. I don't, my, they also promised a gig up, but you know, obviously that never happens. It was more like yeah. 400 to 700. Yeah, but, but who would, needs know, that? I would, I would, I mean, I'd upload a video and it would be uploaded in less than a minute. Yeah, but uh, just, if, if I just check my internet right now, I could God, actually, I, uh, I can actually check how much data I'm sending to you, but I would imagine it's less than five megabit because all it literally has to send back and forth is keystrokes and shit. Yeah. Well, I mean, to be fair, though, there is a lot of CPU computation going on right now amongst the AI nations. Yeah, but Dude, at the same time, like... Did we I... take Brazil? What? We own Brazil. I told you that, like, five minutes ago. I have no recollection. Also, there's a giant army there. Hmm. Yeah. How did you forget? <laughs> um, forget things. Right, so, um... God, the game is even, like, slow to scroll around because so much shit yeah, is moving. Um, if anyone's wondering, like, oh, wow, their computer's mostly shit, no. The game is just 
like this. Like I just upgraded like, to a really good graphics card. It's just this game. Man. Yeah, I just I just upgraded my CPU and my RAM massively. I have like DDR4, uh, was it 3,400 speed, 32 gigabytes of it. Like, look, it's not the computers. This is just the game. I used to think like, oh, maybe it's like the game is hard on the hard drive. So I moved it to solid state. No, that marginally sped it up, but not to any serious degree. Look, the game isn't optimized very well. Also, in the game's defense, this has been through like four patches the same. Yeah, I there, there is that. The game's like, what's going on? Yeah, no. the game is like ha janky, half-updated bullshit. Like, it doesn't know yeah. what's going on. We're running the DLC right now. We're running every DLC in a game that was done on the vanilla game. Yeah. Like, there's features. I'm pretty sure some of the features must be included, but I can't find them. I imagine, oh, yeah. Well, hang on. Let me just check Germany's focus tree. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. doesn't. Okay. Cause Cause I guess, had the opposite. <laughs> yeah. Just now they're like, huh, but maybe imperialism. <laughs> they're like, I know uh, we're pretty far into this whole fascism thing, but maybe if we assassinate Mussolini. Yeah, uh, that's just good, yeah. Oh my god, it just shoehorns in political decisions. It's like, huh, maybe we'll suppress fascism now. <laughs> oh my god. It's such hey, a mess. Mars. A little bit, yeah. Just the tiniest, it. tiniest bit. I love it, but it does not do well on my channel. Uh, like no one watches it? Like 40 to 80 views at best, man. It sucks. Whoa. Um... Well, I guess it is a pretty different genre for Paradox, isn't it? Yeah. It's it's like City world, Builder, kind of. It's kind of City Builder. You gotta be me. I gotta be you. I gotta be as famous as Mature Hybrid. Yeah, oh my god. I get, like, <laughs> depending on how unpopular the series is, 100 to 1,000 views on a video. Oh my god. Whoa. See, I'm doing really well with Hearts of Iron right now, but like it's just Hearts of Iron that's doing really, really well. You know what I mean? Oh, that's how it is like, with a lot of channels, though. The, my biggest thing, like, you know, I've been doing YouTube for eight fucking years. Um, I always just tell people don't get dis get discouraged by that shit. You're going to have oh, yeah, series that get really popular, it. and you're going to have a lot of viewers, and you're like, why the fuck aren't they watching this other stuff, though? Because you know for a fact it's good, and they're just not clicking it. And yep. then they get really they like a really bad shit. attitude. Like, I'm uh, I'm part of Ritual, the the gaming network thing, and yeah. uh, I'm like they're they're making plans to like start really promoting people. And since the beginning, I was like the small guy that they want to like really bring up. So I'm t I'm talking in a group chat with like thirty uh, was it uh, three hundred thousand subscriber channels every day, and I'm teaching them lessons because like they're they're much newer, but they got really popular and they have like a really bad attitude about stuff. And I just teach them like why that's bad and they're really appreciative and nice about it. And I'm that's like, nice. and I'm like, no, like here's all the series I did that got really, really big. And then I was, had a shitty attitude about it and like they didn't watch other stuff. And then like all it did was stress me out and make me literally lose hair. And I swear it's the stress and not male pattern baldness. Um, and uh, yeah. So that's, that's fun. I'm not going to name names because I don't know how public they want that stuff to be name yet. Every one of them. Uh, all I'm going to say is I, I, I really, them. I enjoy a lot of their channels. I think they're really good, but they all have that issue of like, they're kind of shoehorned into one game or one genre and they want to break up, but whenever they do, no one watches. Mm. Um, and my, my biggest advice, if any YouTubers are watching home and they have that is just, just keep doing, just keep doing what you're doing. Like keep uploading the thing that they're enjoying and then also yeah. keep doing your own thing and just keep doing both of them. Because if you have a good enough attitude and you're nice enough, then people in that main series watching you will start to like you for you. And then they'll be willing to check out the other stuff. It's all about not having a shitty attitude about it. Anyway, uh, we're basically just fucking waiting right now. Um, because, like, I mean, we can't yeah, really actively do anything right now. And the game is just constantly yelling at me. It's like, oh, catching a player. Oh, catching up the player. Because so much shit is going on that the game has to constantly, like, slow I, down. I, nap. No? I know, right? Um, okay, so I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel, and I'm doing my last group of 10 divisions training out. I'm going to have to stop after this, because I'm only going to have 32k uh, manpower after. So, you know... Oh, baby. You know, one thing that uh, would really fuck oh, you... Oh, control my mouse. You know what one thing would really fuck you in early versions of this game? I don't know if they fixed it much don't. now. If one of... You know, you can have your political advisors. If you didn't happen to have, like, I think it's Prince of Terror, whatever one gives you, like, non-core uh, manpower... Oh, yeah, 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 it's Cause fucked you. Some countries have it and some don't, and Greece doesn't have it, and man, I would have, like, a million manpower right now if I had that. 
Uh, you wouldn't though. The thing is, even I, even I had it, and it's still not that great. You know, yeah, like, but like you well, kill actually, me in manpower. I have six million total because I have India. To be fair, you let me. Yeah, have that India. that I'm does that does definitely help. Um, I I always too. love the comments on these games because for whatever reason, people seem to think we're both like just trying to slightly fuck each other over or something. I've had comments that are like, well, uh, MDB is an idiot and doesn't know that Aldrihill is scamming him for all these provinces. I'm like, what are you talking about? Literally, as I give him the stuff, I say like, oh, you can have this stuff. And you're like, really? Are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, it's really good, but I don't need it. Whatever, you can have yeah, it. It's not me scamming you, it's you scamming yourself. Yeah, I'm literally saying, like, I know it's really good, you can have it. And then, like, like oh, okay. Yeah, like, as far as I'm concerned, you're a better player than me anyway. It's not like I'm oh. fucking new to the game or anything, but you're a better player. It it's only makes sense to give you the cream of the crop land. Uh, because you're going to make a better use out of it. And oh, then, relax. like, and then other people were like. Wow, MDB lying to Alderhill. Uh, you know, all of Alderhill's di uh, troops die because he doesn't have his navy in the right place, and he doesn't even tell Alderhill and just lets Alderhill blame it on himself. No, li literally, neither of us noticed. The next episode, just, um, yeah, literally the literally the next episode, the comments like the comments told us there, and the next episode I start with by telling you, I'm like, hey, the comments let me know what happened there. Sorry, I was out of position on that. And you're like, oh, don't worry about it. Shit happens. It's like, it's like, like they think we're trying to fuck each other over or something. We're not trying to fuck each other over. It's Where's just, I'm, I'm not amazing, guys. I don't know if you've noticed, like, uh, yeah. I'm a comedy show more than anything. I'm hardcore strategy. I, I play this game 28 hours a day, okay? I have got 7 million hours in hearts. I developed this game. Oh, wow. America's got a really badass I'm fleet. I'm okay. Look at the English Channel. That American fleet's really badass. Dude, I can barely move around the goddamn screen. <laughs> I know, right? Man. Uh, okay, so they have 48 ships in there. That's not that great. We have Supreme Air Supremacy, though. Supreme Air Supremacy? You know I, I, mean. I wonder at what point will this playthrough become so abominably shit that we just decide we started a new playthrough. It's always been abominably shit. That's the thing, bye though. Bye. Is the people who like this series, at least on my channel, they don't give a fuck about how little happens sometimes. They're just, all they tell me is like, we just want to see the love boat sail again. We just want to yep, hear same. the insane rambling conversations. I had, a, I had a comment on a Twitch chat recently. It wasn't even my Twitch. I was watching another streamer and I just said something to him. And he was like, oh, Aldra, when are you going to record more Love Boat with MTB? I'm I like, know, oh. right? They just want the insanity. <laughs> well, I've got to wonder, did he, is, he, is he a watcher of me or a watcher of you? Do you remember his username? I don't know. Uh, okay. Um, that's the thing, though. I don't know if people on your channel comment very favorably about me. I find... They hate you. No, they're, they're right. They like you. Because okay. I think... I think it's love or hate, because I've had a few really angry, really angry comments, and I think oh, they're man. from your viewers, but most of them seem to be really happy, and a few of them uh, just want to find ways to hate me. Again, yeah. I go back to guy who called me, like, a shithead Republican, and I'm like, <laughs> I, I don't even know what I can say to that. Wrong, so wrong, wrong country. I don't have a Republican. Uh, there isn't a Republican Party in fucking Canada. I'm sorry. I don't even I mean, know what to say. To you. No one can say you're not Canadian. I know. Haven't you heard my accent? Yeah. Come on. Like, like you were born like unlike the what's that tower in Toronto? CN Tower. You look like you were born on that tower. Okay, CN Tower sucks. So, all I do is rip on Canada, guys. I'm Canadian. It's the national pastime is to. Describe how, for some reason, people candy. think we're, for some reason people think we're a utopia. No, we suck, guys. Like, <laughs> I'd also like to make a note that it may look like I'm playing really badly, but I'd just like it to be known that everything I do has a delay of about twelve seconds. So wait, four, five. Oh, there's six seconds. Cool, six second oh, delay. I'm literally just looking around. There's nothing for me to do I'm right now. I'm like fighting in Malaysia. You're fighting in Malaysia? Okay. I've been fighting in Malaysia for like four years. <laughs> this is the thing is like, I'm just, so bad. I'm just looking. I'm just looking at places and I'm like, oh, is there an opening there? No. I think the only eventful thing I've done the whole episode is I told some planes to go from the Amazon to Venezuela because I think we might actually be ready to push them. 
I'm looking uh, at uh, I'm looking at Netherlands and like Venezuela and all that land up there that they took, and I think we might actually be ready to push them. I don't know because they're entrenched in mountains and part of it, and that oh, alone has me worried. But you got a tank up there, like. Look at the northeast, like the very northern troops we have in Brazil. I think they might be ready to actually push in. Oh, yeah, I have. I just put them on the front lines. So they're still kind of moving in. Problem is the infrastructure is so bad, and this is also attacking into mountains. So you're looking at at least a sixty percent um, malice for attacks. Yeah, but we got we have air. Oh well, we had air superiority for a moment. Um, you know, what? I can I can just put more planes up there. Can I? Yeah, Are they close could, enough? Yeah. Them, oh right, right, because uh, you made the awesome airport. airport, right? I forgot. I told you to make me a closer it airport did. just so I that did. I could keep attacking it. I totally yeah, forgot put, that was put an it issue. In northern South America, rather than um, the Amazons, because we don't need the Amazons. Yeah, I totally Let's forgot that was do. an issue. Was we didn't have an airport close enough to get more planes in Northern South America. That's oh, hilarious. Okay, there we go. Oh, you know what? I will save this for the next episode. That's what I'll do. Oh, should we be ending it now? I, I always forget good. how long of episodes do It's 25, do isn't it? I do 20 on my normal channel, but with some of the other collabs, it often ends up being 25. Oh, see, uh, oh, hey, advanced rocketry, 38 days. Don't mind if I do. Um, I let me, let me, let me just remember. pause it. Oh, we would always do randomly between 20 and 30 minutes. That's pretty much right. what we do. I think we did like fucking 40 once. Look, we're incompetent, oh everybody. We're so Again, incompetent. don't watch this for the quality. Watch this for the don't podcast. This. this this is just a podcast. Like, we pretend it's a Let's Play show. It's a podcast. Yeah, where I playing this right now. I'm exactly. I'm in you... the other room. You're not even watching. You're just guessing what your cat's doing. I'm, on re I'm, yeah, I'm in another room having, taken a, having a read. You're, you're playing Fortnite. That's popular now, I'm right? Fortnite. Yeah, that's a good idea. I should play Fortnite. <laughs> hey, let's date the episode. Uh, apparently yesterday Twitch beat its uh, viewership record because some guy I never heard of streamed with Drake, the Canadian s sensation. I don't know who that is. Y y uh, Drake the musician? He's like a rapper? All I oh, know hey. Drake from... He's like super famous. All I know about him is uh, I watched him in Degrassi, The Next Generation, where he was a douchebag called Jimmy who got shot in the back and was in a wheelchair and was still a douchebag. People don't know the humble beginnings of Canadian stars, everybody. <laughs> like, I know the humble beginnings of, like, Justin Bieber and stuff. Like, look, like, you can find these people from, like, local access television shows that were really shitty. It's funny. What you need to understand about Canada is outside of Southern Ontario, it's just, like, rural it's a gigantic rural country. I did the math recently. Southern Ontario, I've lived my whole life here. Most Canadians live in Southern Ontario. Southern Ontario, this is the population density issue of Canada. Second least densely populated country, uh, first world country in the world. Second least, just behind Australia. But our density is so densely packed in specific areas. Southern Ontario, which is like the greater Toronto area and everything. Southern Ontario as a whole is 16% of our entire country's population living on 1.4% of our land. Good God. Then, if you go greater Toronto area, which is where, or sorry, it's, um, it's not 16%. It was like 30 something percent on 1.4% uh, of our land. That's unhealthy, right? Now, greater Toronto area, which is where I live which is Toronto and the cities around it, where I've spent my whole life, Greater Toronto Area, 16% of the entire country's population living on 0.07% of our land. Now, that sounds like... That sounds like something you'd hear out of, like, China, right? That's I mean, Canada! That is Canada! <laughs> the Canadians don't, for some reason explain to the rest of the world how we're not a utopia. It's like we just like that we have this undeserving thing. No. There's so many wonderful places in Canada. Don't come to Southern Ontario. <laughs> You're gonna come here. There won't be jobs. The tax rate is really high. And the the price of living is really high because there aren't homes here. Are you kidding me? We're packed in like a fucking clown car. Please go to the prairies. It's a lovely <laughs> places. Like, look, it's a go to, go to like fucking Manitoba. It's near. Uh, you don't know what Manitoba is because no one knows what Manitoba is. I know what Manitoba is. But go to Manitoba because it's near uh, Minnesota, and everybody knows Minnesota's cool. So go to Manitoba. Just everybody go there because we don't have room here. I'm sorry. No vacancy. <laughs> 
<laughs> we may as well wow. be a mega okay, city at this point. We're we're, we're gonna build a wall. Can can we build? I don't even know what we could build to fix this issue. The issue isn't a wall because a wall would keep people in as well. We need to build a giant tire fire in the middle of Toronto and hopefully the noxious fumes will make people decide, you know what, I don't want to be here anymore. And they'll spread out and then all of a sudden we spread out across our vast, vast lands and all of a sudden we're not a shithole anymore. And it, all it takes is... A tire fire the size of a country. We can do it if we band together as a nation. And all we can change our flag to a tire fire and no one will move to us. It'll be great. It can be our national religion is worshipping the tire the great tire fire of Canada. Look, all I'm saying is there are some common sense ways we can two problems that we can nip in the bud, get rid of a bunch of tires that we don't need, and uh get rid of our population density problems. Elect me. At least I won't lie. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Fuck my prime minister. I voted for the fucker, and then he went back on every campaign promise. Fuck that guy. Thanks so much for tuning into the podcast event uh, against <laughs> Canada. Keep be sure to vote against your local local prime minister and uh, say hi. <laughs>